the season finale was trash. I'm just playing with y'all. What's up? TYYT back again with another Tokyo Ghoul review. This is the season finale, man. Hey, it's been a journey. Probably not probably not the best journey, but we did it, man. We made it through Tokyo Ghoul Re. <laughs> Oh man. <clears throat> oh, my bad. So I don't I don't even know where to start. I just finished watching it. I got up early just to watch it so I could get the video up for y'all as soon as possible. Merry Christmas. If you celebrate that, Merry Hanukkah. Merry Hanukkah. Ha <laughs> happy Hanukkah. I'm rolling. But yeah, um Happy Holidays, all that good shit. So I'm going to have my final thoughts of Rhea as a whole at the end. So I'm just going to talk about the episode <laughs> as we go. Um, we had the fighting. The fighting still continued. Of course, you know, that shit always continued from episode to episode with this show. Um, yeah, nothing crazy, man. It's just, it's just the same shit. I'm kind of glad it's over. I thought the season finale was going to be a little better. You know, because it's the season finale. It's the end of it. I hope this gets a fucking full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood type shit where they just redo the whole thing. That shit would be great. Because I know they... And they give it to a different studio. Because obviously this studio is, isn't about good anime. I don't know. Shit ain't had a, had a good anime in... Ugh, I don't know how long. Because I guess Black Clover's good. I haven't watched that shit yet. Boruto's not good. Naruto Shippuden was not good. You know, shit like that. I don't know what else Studio Period has done. <clears throat> but, yeah. So, you know, fighting commences. And then we have Kaneki versus Furuta. Which was, I'm not even gonna flex. Like, the fight itself, of course, is gonna be underwhelming. Because the fights in Tokyo Ghoul are never good. Them bitches is trash. Every single time. But... Um, I thought it was going to have a heavier um, feeling, like a heavier emotion through the whole fight, which it kind it tried to do. It didn't work, though, because they kind of rushed through this whole thing. But, um, you know, that I, I don't know. I mean, Kaneki was saying some good shit. He was saying some good words that, you know, sounded good, but you just didn't feel it. Like, you're supposed to feel when the When the main character is going over his little speech and shit while the fight's going on like you're supposed to feel that shit like come on man any other any other shonen i mean this isn't a shonen this is a saying and i think but just every other show like when you have the main character going off like that you could feel that shit in your heart so that happened they had a flashback of Furuta when he was a kid Supposedly he wasn't supposed to be shit, blah, 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 trying to make it to where, like, he feel bad for him in a way, which I kind of didn't, because it's like, he was the villain, even though I fuck with him as a character, I still feel like I didn't get as much from him as I should have, which isn't his fault, it's the studios, but, yeah, so that fight was going on, and then they flash back to the other fight, or, or the other fights that were going on, which weren't very interesting, because we weren't seeing anything. And then Kaneki transformed. Bro, these. Tra I gotta say, these transformations, bro. These gotta be the worst transformations I didn't ever seen in any <laughs> in any anime ever. These transformations are horrible. I was just thinking, like Kaneki's weird fucking. I don't even know what that was. That shit was ugly. I'll put a screenshot up so y'all can see what I'm talking about. Even if you haven't watched the. Um, the episode you just watching the review because you feel like watching the review um <clears throat> yeah that shit was ugly as fuck then for his transformation was ugly as fuck he looked like uh one of the uh characters from full metal alchemist brotherhood that shit was ugly as fuck um yeah man so they were fighting long story short kaneki beat him stabbed him up all that Furuta was dying and then talking they were talking about all this other philosophical bullshit that really doesn't pertain to any of them but you know they have to say it because it sounds good you feel me so that happened Furuta dies and then like this nigga I'm 
Bro, what woke me up from this episode? <laughs> this nigga jumped down. The one of the Washu niggas, right? I didn't even know why the Washu niggas was still alive. But the one nigga jumped down in a full-on thong, in a sumo thong. <laughs> Cheeks all out in the wind. Whooping ass. That shit was crazy. Bro, you know how bad you gotta feel to get your asshole by a nigga in underwear? Just, just a thong. Like, that shit's wild to me. But, long story short, <clears throat> good guys win, bad guys lose. Um, Kaneki went up and destroyed Rize's body, which took out the whole long dragon tentacle shit. So, <laughs> and then, yeah, Kaneki fell in some reddish water. I don't know. That shit was nasty as hell. It didn't make no sense. And then all of them called out to all his friends, and all his friends called out to him. And then we get a six-year time jump. You know, I love time skips. Personally, I love that shit. You know, but this time skip was so odd. Like, I don't know. It just felt weird. Like, certain characters didn't... Like, Juzo didn't look any different. But Shinohara was old as fuck now, like, six years later. When they showed him in fucking the beginning of Re, And he didn't look that much older. Like, there's only been a... If we put in the two-year time skip from the beginning of Re and the six-year time skip from, you know, from the end of Re, that's only eight years. Shinohara should not be that old. He should not look like that. Juzo look the same. Then we go to other people. Nishio look like shit. Oh, my fuck. Bro, nigga, the character, the whole Queen Squad look weird as fuck. Like, I don't... Bro, there's no way they look like this in the fucking manga. There's no way. Because these niggas look horrible, bro. What? Are, I'll put some screenshots up so y'all can see that too. Oh my god. What was that? And then Kaneki's baby. I don't know. It looked like Hayasei. I don't know. That shit was weird. And then, you know, Toka still look good. Hey, 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 hey Toka still look good. Don't get it fucked up. You feel me? But he looked exactly the same. Like, characters still... Some characters looked exactly the same from six years ago, and then some other characters look completely different. Like, Udre, that nigga looked weird as shit. Why do niggas cut their hair at the end of shows? Why? It don't make no sense. Oh, man. And then Shirazu, I guess they found his body or whatever. I don't know. I don't know if he dead or not, but they had a grave for him. His sister's back, though. That's what's up. Finally were able to help the sister. Yeah, man. And, and that was it. That was the... <laughs> I'm laughing at a hurt. I'm laughing at a pain. Because that ending was trash. I mean, it kind of wraps up the series in, like, one scene. And the ending is like, damn, the ending is trash just like the whole show. But, you know, the ending was bad. Um, which, which should come at no surprise, because, you know, like I said, but yeah, that was, that, that's the episode review, that was a little longer than usual, but I really had, <laughs> I know I'm laughing a lot, because that shit's crazy to me, but, um, I want to get into my thoughts as, uh, for the series as a whole, so, oh man, this shit has been a roller coaster to say the least, um, the beginning of the series, like, I recently just watched the first couple of episodes of Re, and I was like, damn, these don't look bad. Like, it looks good. Like, when Kaneki was fighting Nishio and all that other shit, I mean, it just looked better. Like, but when you look at it from the series going on, you could tell that it just dropped off. Like, nobody, and then they, you could tell when they started rushing it. And all this other shit, and it's like, wow, that shit's crazy. This had potential. Like, regardless of if you didn't like Rude, and regardless of if you didn't like the first part of Tokyo Ghoul, like, this had potential to be, you know, the, the band-aid, you feel me? Like, to fix it. And they just, <laughs> they pulled a Rude times four, nigga, and it just ruined everything. Like, they didn't even care anymore. Shit's crazy. It felt like a Berserk. Because I know I haven't watched any of the Berserk anime. But Berserk, that shit is known for getting fucked over in its anime adaptation. So I feel like Tokyo Ghoul is right up there. Which, I mean, I Tokyo Ghoul re. Because, hey, I'm going to make a video on it. But Tokyo Ghoul was good, nigga. Don't get fucked up. Um, 
yeah man <laughs> I think I think that's it for the video I don't want to make this too long you feel me I don't want to ramble forever but yeah did I enjoy Tokyo Tokyo Ghoul Re um I'll say I enjoyed it uh I didn't enjoy the latter half of Tokyo Ghoul Re but you know the beginning of Re you know, like a little bit in the middle you feel me like Right when he got, right when he changed, after he fought Eto, I think I feel like that's when the series kind of went downhill for me personally. But um, yeah, let me know what you thought about the season finale. Let me know what you thought about the series, the whole series. Um, let me know what you think about Tokyo Ghoul. Like anything that has to do with Tokyo Ghoul or this video, let me know in the comments. <laughs> Um, subscribe if you're new, of course. Turn on post notifications, of course. And I'm out.